I'm Emily. In this series, we're going to learn some tips and tricks for using the Python library pandas in Saturn Cloud. Today, we're going to talk about how to change data frame column types. So first, I want to spend some time talking about why we might want to change column type. So the answer is usually that data can be messy and can contain data types we don't expect. This can lead to issues when we're doing our analysis later. So to give you a quick example of this, let's check out this data set. So uh, at first glance, we have a data set with some numbers. Uh, let's say we want to get the mean of one of these columns, let's say column A. And we can see that something is amiss here because we probably shouldn't get a mean of 41 for this column. So if we check out our data types using dot d types. Okay, so we can see that instead of being numeric, all of these columns are object type. Uh, so ensuring that we have the correct data type is really important. Luckily, Pandas gives us several options for converting column data types from one to another. So the first one I'll discuss today is the two numeric function. Two numeric will attempt to convert non-numeric values like strings to either float 64 or int 64 types, depending on the input data. So here's an example of how to use it. So using our same data frame from before, we're going to try to convert column A to numeric. And we can see that it's now an integer type. So we can also use two numeric to apply um, numeric to type to multiple columns at once. So now we're doing both B and C. Note these double brackets here. And it successfully converted both of these columns. We can also call two numeric on the whole data frame at once. So if we go ahead and do that, you can see that we now have three integer type columns and one float type column. So one benefit of two numeric is it's built in error handling. So this is useful if you have a column that contains different types of data. So by default, two numeric is going to spit out an error if it runs into a value it can't convert. So just to give you an example, we're going to make a new data set. You can see our non-numeric value here in column B. And let's just see what happens when we try to convert. So we get this big error message. Uh, so you might want this in some cases where you're expecting all of your data to be numeric. But if instead you would rather have two numeric ignore those invalid values, you can set errors ignore. And it's just going to pass over those values that it can't convert. Uh, if you would instead like to coerce those invalid values to NA, you can do errors coerce. And we can see that our invalid value is now an NA. Uh, so that can be useful. So the second useful feature is the ability to downcast numeric values. So this means that instead of converting values to float64 or int64, the function is going to pick a smaller numeric data type down to float32 and int8. These smaller data types use less memory, so downcasting can be useful if you're working with really huge data sets and are memory limited. Just to give you an example of what this looks like, we're going to make yet another data frame. Okay, so we have columns A and B, both object type here. We're going to try to downcast column A to an integer. Okay, and then we can see that instead of getting int 64, we now have int 8. And if we try to downcast column B, we get float 32 instead of int, or float 64. So two numeric is a good go-to option for converting to numeric values. So one uh, minor caveat is that if you're working with extremely large numbers, this function may lose some precision, but this shouldn't apply to the vast majority of use cases. So that's option one. Option two is the function as type. So this one's a little more flexible and can be used to convert a column from almost any data type to almost any other data type. So here's an example. So again, we're making our data frame we have all object columns here. We're going to, instead of converting column A to numeric, we're going to convert it to a complex type. We can see that it handles it just fine. 
So uh, just like two numeric, we can input multiple columns at once here. So now we're going to try to cast B to an integer and C to a float. Now we have all those different types here. And again, we can call it on the whole data frame all at once. So we're going to convert all of this data back to string. We get all object columns back out again. So just like as numeric, you can ask as type to ignore invalid values instead of spitting out an error. However, there isn't an option to course them to null values. Uh, so a quick caveat about as type. It's very powerful, but this flexibility comes with a greater risk of unexpected behavior when converting your data. So whenever you use it, make sure to double check that your conversions work as expected. So on to option three is a method called infer objects. So this is a good option if you want to let pandas try to figure out the best data types to use. So when you use infer objects, it attempts soft conversion of all columns in the data frame. So this is an especially good option if you have a data frame where all columns have the object data type, which just means that they are unspecified. So let's look at an example here. We have our data frame of object data types. When we call infer object, or yeah, sorry, infer objects, it's going to keep column A as an object type here because it's a string, and it's going to convert column B to an N64 type. And finally, the last method I'm going to talk about is convert D types. So like infer objects, it can also be called on an entire data frame. So this method will attempt to convert each column to the best possible data type, but still supports pandas NA missing values. So using the same data frame as before, let's take a look at what this does. So we have our object data frame again, we're gonna call convert D types. Okay, so using that same data frame, infer objects above would convert column B to an int 64. Oops, right here, int 64 with a lowercase i. Well, convert D types converts it to int 64 with an uppercase i. This is because int 64 supports pandas and a values. So convert D types is handy if you're going to need to do, for example, a lot of filtering or indexing by NA values. So you can also control whether or not this method attempts to infer object type, and you can turn off individual conversion to certain data types using different flags. Uh, you can check out the documentation for more details on that. So in summer, there are several flexible options for converting column data types in pandas. As numeric and as type allow you to manually convert one or more columns to another type, while infer objects and convert D types attempt to select the best data types for your whole data set. Good luck, and if you'd like to refer back to the article, just follow the link posted in the video description. Bye for now.